First tonight, we have an update on the $450 million renovation happening over at Kyle Field. That's right. Today, the media is giving a tour of the new press box, learning some important dates and features for the renovation to debut in September. Chris Blay, who has spent the afternoon at Kyle Field and joins us there now live. Chris, how was the view from the press box? After what we saw here today, I'm asking myself why I'm standing outside instead of upstairs in that press box that Chancellor John Sharp called the best in the state. Now, one thing we did learn, unlike the old press box, this one will not sway or move during the Aggie War hymn, but that was far from all we learned. We also now know the renovation project, according to the Chancellor, is a bit ahead of schedule and it will feature a new cellular data and usage plan for fans. What's being installed here has not been installed at any other venue like this before. Uh, what's interesting is it's only halfway installed. In fact, I'd probably say it's only a third of the way installed by last year's standards for game one and through the season. Yet it's already made a mark within the industry. So uh, organizations, uh, several NFL teams are now coming to this stadium and looking at what you guys are doing. The only other football stadium in the country that features anything close to that as far as cellular data is Levi Stadium in San Francisco, home of the 49ers. Now this one will have about 1.5 megabytes of data per fan while they are in the stadium for their cell phones. Now traffic was the other question. We also learned that there will be 15 new buses, so a total of 86 for fans to get to and from Kyle Field. As for the playing surface, well, the turf will be installed mid to early June. July, of course, for that first game coming on September 12th here at Kyle Field against Ball State. For now, though, on a windy April day, Chris Vlahos, KAGS HD News, back to you in the studio.